Hey there, very welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, this is Shippa. And today's video is going to be about this eyeshadow palette by Rare Beauty. And this is the Discovery eyeshadow palette. It's probably called also True to Myself. And this is how the palette looks like. Very beautiful palette. And also this palette retails for $29. And it's vegan, it's cruelty free. And uh, I really like uh, the shape of this palette a lot and those eyeshadow pants are very pretty. They actually launched this palette on the very first day of Ramadan and if you, are ce if you celebrate Ramadan, you know what it means. And, uh, and also it's shaped moon, like full moons and half moons and I just thought that I must have to have this palette just because the way the palette looks, I love it. And um, also it has this one eyeshadow topper and the rest of them are either matte or metallic or like shimmery eyeshadows. So here it goes. I love that it has a mirror on it and I also like it has a great combination of matte shade and shimmery shades so that it's a perfect palette on the go like you have some crease colors and you also have some for eyeshadow toppers and stuff like that this shade particularly is my most favorite shade in this entire palette so i'm gonna swatch all those shades in here right now and and also i'll be doing an eye look and i try to do an eye look um thinking about like everyday use eyeshadow uh, look and i didn't use that eyeshadow topper um, just giving you a heads up because uh, I think every video I have watched on this palette everyone used that eyeshadow topper and I just wanted to make it uh, like an everyday wearable uh, look so I didn't go for that eyeshadow topper and uh, just to make it a little different and stuff like that so yeah here is the palette the outer packaging is um, beautiful I love it it's different that's what makes it better and uh, one thing the eyeshadow of uh, the every uh, shade's name is in the back so you don't see the shade names in the palette it's in the back and it's kind of a little bit confusing um that which shade is called which unless you are making youtube videos that doesn't really matter very much and uh, also like i said that um it has those matte shade and shimmer shade i think those matte shades are some of the matte shades are really hard to work on uh, which you will know like when I'm, i'll be using this palette and also you'll see in the swatch so here's the very first two shades those two shades are a matte shade while i was swatching it it was kind of a little bit chalky and uh, didn't swatch very good and uh, i thought there was there would be fallout when i will be using it but you'll see it when i'm trying it on and the shade i'm swatching right now that's my absolute favorite shade in this whole palette and uh, and the next one is the eyeshadow topper and the very last two shade is another um, really good shade so that's the top two shade very good for transition colors the third one was my ultimate favorite the fourth one is the eyeshadow topper the very last two shade is beautiful 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 colors love that um the, especially the way it swatched really soft smooth so here now i will try to do an eye look using this palette and uh, there is many color combination you can go with a lot of different looks using this palette i mean at least i can think of Three or four different uh, eye looks using that palette but every shade you use and then you use that eyeshadow topper on top of that i just don't go for that unless i'm going on a late night party i don't see myself using uh, that eyeshadow topper or it would look really pretty on the camera like um my eye look might not look the best on the camera but it is a very good um look for everyday use you try it on you will see um it looks very very pretty so what i'm doing here is i'm taking that dark brown shade and i'm packing it in the very outer corner and then i'm just just focusing into the very outer corner and then going to the crease as well to just um make the transition really good between that brown shade and the first shade that i use so and a lot of blending going for the lower lash line as well and here goes my favorite shade and um, i'm just using my finger and putting it into the 
um, into my eyelids and I'm mainly focusing on the inner side and uh, I will also be using a brush and just blend out the places where my finger couldn't reach so overall i have a say about the price point i think 24 25 dollar would be the best price uh, for this palette uh, instead of 29 uh, what do you think um and it, i don't know what do you think let me know okay i just thought that 24 25 dollar would be a best price point for that here right now i'm using a mascara this is the benefit the real magnetic mascara and uh, I kind of like this mascara a lot recently I've been using it and I wanted to make a video separately dedicated to that mascara but I just got some personal thing and I haven't made any video for about a month so here is the final look let me know what you think I try to keep my uh, videos as natural as possible instead of uh, just editing videos heavily so let me know what you think about the final look and uh, what's your thought on this palette what do you think um and uh, i think this palette would be perfect for traveling i have actually planned some trips next year this year so that's all i can think of right now <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you back again in another video Bye bye